Welcome to this lesson. Finally, it's here. We are going to talk about JavaScript. Okay, so let's start. So what is JavaScript? Well, what we know so far is that JavaScript, um, it is a text-based programming language. Okay, keep this thing in mind, by the way. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna get back to this. Uh, you can use JavaScript for both the client server and the, and the, wait, what did I say? Client and server, I'm sorry. Yeah, the client side and the server side, okay? We also want to mention this too right now, a few minutes. And it gives web pages um, interactive elements that engage a user, all right? So we know this um, about JavaScript. So programming language. Remember that I mentioned to you guys before that HTML, um, it is not a programming language because you only, um, like say for example, you like type something in HTML and then you just present, uh, um, you know, whatever you type on, on your subline, the one that we've been using for this course. And so what about a programming language? So, well, a programming language is like a more instruction thing. For example, if you run a software or something, you tell the, the software what to do according to the user's need. For example, if um, you have um, writing a JavaScript code and then you, the JavaScript code says, well, if the user select this, then do this. However, if you know, if you get an error, then do this and stuff like that. So the programming language is more like, okay, I'm gonna do a stuff, you know, I'm gonna make sure what's going on with this thing. All right, there you go. So the programming language is more like, okay, let me tell you what to do. And so you do it according to the user input or according to the mouse, like where it's moving or according to uh, any specific time, even though that, um, even like in a time, like for example, you can say, well, check the time. And if it's five o'clock, do this. You can even do things at, well, not do this, but you can say, execute this code that is going to do exactly what do you want to do, all right? So the client side and the server side means that you can work the back end and the front end when you're using JavaScript. So when you're using JavaScript, it's not only um, used for, for back end development. Um, so what I mean by back end, remember when we're talking about it's like every code that people don't see or even the front end uh, person does have to see the code to see what's going on. But with um, the client, the, the server, um, the front end part, let's say, we definitely can see well, a lot of stuff that's going on. And we're gonna also look for examples for that right now. And as well with the server side, that a few things happen in fact, and also on the client side, we're talking about also the user, how they can see things working out, all right? So if, for example, on two lessons ago, probably I think lesson 13, we're talking about, well, not lesson 13, but like lesson 14, we're talking about forms, right? And then in the forms, I say, well, we have some code that nobody knows what's going on. So when the user in the front end page fill out a form, they type the name, they type the everything that they, that they need to type, they don't know what's going on in the back end. Like you just click enter and then a page say thank you for your, you know, for your filling out this form. And like you don't, like the user doesn't interact with, uh, with what's going on with the PHP code. However, with JavaScript, make the user engage with the website and you will see now why. So here I have a few, um, an example or some, well, only two JavaScript samples though, um, two website right here. And you know, this is a website and look now, so it's loading. And then if I start screwing down, do you see this background right here? Do you see what's going on here? So this is JavaScript basically. I mean, I'm not saying the whole website is based on JavaScript, but all those little things that you see there, basically um, JavaScript is doing their job, okay? And of course, this isn't, by the way, you, you did this before, right? You, you have two columns, you have a two columns website, and the only thing that you add in here is, by the way, in the background, that's, that isn't just a simple image. 
Okay, so JavaScript, what exactly is doing is this, like you see this trans, uh, like this trans that is going on like between those two things right here. And of course, let's, because we learn about sessions in HTML5, let's call this thing sessions, like all the, the whole thing right here. So between sessions, like as you can see, it just like going behind the session, okay? And yeah, so this is basically JavaScript. By the way, this is not, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is also in a background image right here. Um, let me just make sure about that. Let me just make an inspect element. And let me just look at it. And because it's wrap it up, yeah, I know we got this. Well, I know it's an image, but all right, then th there you go. So as you guys can see here, okay, let me see if I can, again, let me put it back. Did it work? No. Okay, so if I put it back, yes, I did. All right, there you go. So that's an image right there on the background, okay? So again, that's on um, those images there, um, they don't need to be like that perfect, but look at this. JavaScript is the one that is making this thing look nice. Then, I also have another website here that I'm going to just load the website again, all right? So if you land to this website, you know, you are, you are around here and you feel like, like, okay, is this a video or what? So as you can see, this look like a video. If you want to, you can also use a video as a background for your website. But look at this. If I click here, look at what happened. So I just kind of... Uh, like zoom in and then I just gonna click anywhere Do you see that if I click here if I click there oh here do you see that so and that's JavaScript that is doing all this thing and again you know um, the fact that you have something on JavaScript make you feel like okay oh my god I want to keep touching so in fact I'm just getting engaged with this on you know with this um, website here and of course, let me see if I have more stuff here. Well, you know, most of the stuff is just like simple image and stuff like that. So, but yeah, so that's JavaScript. That is exactly what it's doing. And again, it's not like perfect. Like, I mean, it is, it is perfect, but it's not like, uh, you still need some um, HTML to display those things and CSS as well, okay? to just, um, you know, dealing with the position and stuff like that. However, JavaScript is doing more, more of the work right here. HTML is basically doing um, just like, a, basically just one line. Let's see, I'm gonna click on it and look at this. So literally you're only using um, HTML to say, hey, let's call this canvas right here, this line. And then probably because we have uh, uh, this class here, and maybe somewhere, and by the way, let's see the session of the whole session, which is class intro. Yep. And let me see, let me just remove this. All right, even though you see my Java, uh, my HTML, just doing some stuff like, you know, just um, this is the high. And basically uh, it's, not, it's, it's not like holding, it's not like stopping um, JavaScript to do their job, okay? So for example, if I remove the high, JavaScript still there. Do you see that? So it's not like uh, um, HTML is doing a lot, let's say, okay? But again, you need HTML to make sure that JavaScript, and CSS, of course, to make sure that JavaScript look nice on your website, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this thing right here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and, and just type here, the word about and then say double column and then say blank okay so there you go so here we have like a blank page instead of having just a um google page or anything like that so if i'm here and go on on the blank page i just right click on it and i click on inspect if I click on inspect, I get this right here. Of course, you knew that because we already did this before, okay, right? So you definitely, I know you onto this step, you might be like, okay, but what are we doing? So, and then we just click on console right here. So here we can 
um, do stuff. And one of the stuff is JavaScript. We can write JavaScript here. We don't need Sublime yet. Okay, we don't need Sublime yet. Just to start writing code. We don't need any anything, any IDE or any software to write our JavaScript code. Okay, so all right, so let's say, let's do something. I believe that I have some code here. Okay, then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this code. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and, you know, copy this part. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to copy this part right here. I'm not calling the function. I'm, this is a function and I'm just saying, hey, let me just go ahead and create my function, my function, okay? And here's my function. And then I'm just gonna click enter and it's, then it's like on the fine. And we're gonna get to that later. So right now we have a function, but you know what? Let me make sure that that function look a little bit, let me just clean it out. If you click here, you can clear the on the console. Okay, so there you go. So here I have a function and let me just make this a little bit. And then here I'm just going to do some stuff. Okay, there you go. So right now I create my function and of course be careful because when you type in this, you need to click like chief um, enter in order for you to create a line because if you just click or if you write a one line of code and then you click enter and um, you know, it will tell, it will say that like you didn't complete anything and it will give you an error and then you may have to do it again. All right. So here I'm just going to go ahead and you know, just click enter and just create my function. So my function names right now is draw cats. So the thing is that if you come here right now and then you do this and you create like, you know, another function, let's say, what did I do? <laughs> and why did I put the function? All right. And, and not even a function, let's say a variable. Well, just a function first. I'm not going to talk about variable yet. Um, and then I'm just, do, I'm trying, I'm just, I'm just copying um, this part right here. Okay. And then I have function and I have, instead of how many times I'm just going to type the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to click enter and oh, well, it did it. Oh, that's weird. Oh yeah. Because I, I put the, the bracket, but if I click enter now, Wait, what? All right, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm not sure why. But the thing is like, if you see that you got an arrow when you click enter, the first thing that you can do is just click shift and not click, but press shift and return or enter. And then you get like this. You can just do this instead. All right. Let me just try this one more time without the function thing. You see that? That's what I meant then. All right. So probably if you create a function, um, it would assume that, that, that like, you know, it's expecting you to write more, more code and that's what it's doing there. But if you just write, like try to create a variable right here or a function, like the way that we did right now, uh, and then you don't complete the step, it will definitely tell you, Hey, you got an error. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up and I'm going to go ahead and put my code back there and just click enter All right and by the way because i already created it was there so if i re if i clear if i clear this it will know that my function is still there all right so let's keep going so let me just call this function now and look once i start typing like dr a boost there you go like, wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, there you go. It will definitely show me that I, I have something there and you know, I can just click on it and this is my function. And then I just click and let's say that I want to pass this for 10 times and you know, let's look something. If I click enter and you will see something real quick, this is what happened. Okay. So what just happened is, and by the way, I'm assuming by this time, uh, that you know a little bit about what's going on here. But if you don't know, that's okay, because we're definitely going to talk about functions and how we work and how, you know, how we do things. However, I am not assuming that you know the syntax of the language, because if you are taking this course, it's because probably you want to know and learn more about JavaScript. 
And I understand that you are probably not familiar with the syntax, but we're gonna get into uh, into that in a few minutes, okay? So there you go. I'm just past my functions. I say, do this 10 times here. I just type how many times. And this is a for loop right here. And I'm just saying the world console.log. And this means here, hey, just print. Like it's the same thing that I say when you say print in other programming language or when you say echo in PHP. And if that doesn't make sense to you, it's totally fine because we are going to talk about that also in this course. All right. So this part right here is just doing like the print. You just printing this number here, which is I is equal to this because you create a variable and I is equal to zero. And then you just start at zero. So it's saying zero and then it's going back for the for, for the for loop. And then this number right here, I plus plus is increasing the number after you after you run the, the, the for loop. And then once you going back and you increase I plus plus, now you have I is equal to one. And now this is why you get one and then you get two and then you get three because this number right here is increasing every time this thing is running. However, how many times it will run? Up to 10 times because you just say here that while this is true and it means that I less than in this case is 10. So you are literally saying, hey, run this for 10 times or, you know, I will get up to 10 or 9 because you are increasing I every time you run this um, this for loop. And if you didn't get what I just say, totally fine, because we're definitely going to talk about for loop, while loop, do loop, and all the stuff that it has to do with any loop. Okay. So I'm just letting you know what's going on here. And again, let's talk about the syntax. So the syntax, the syntax means, do you see all this thing right here? For example, let me just clear this thing really quick. And you guys can see that I have this um, semicolons, columns, plus plus. Um, I have like quote, um, I have a that, and all this stuff. So it means that this is the rule of JavaScript, okay? So syntax means um, for any programming language, not only JavaScript, but the only programming language, that this is the way you need to write this, um, this program because this is the way that JavaScript understand what are you trying to say. For example, if you just go here and say, you know, this is a for loop and this for loop is running up 10 times then, but if you come here and say, I don't know, like, Hey, JavaScript, can you, I don't know, can you, uh, duplicate, not duplicate, but can you run this, you know, 10 times? And JavaScript will be like, okay, what are you trying to say here? Do you see that? Because in order for that, you need to talk um, JavaScript language and JavaScript will definitely understand what you were trying to say, which is, oh, hey, you know, you want me to run 10 times? So create a loop to do that. So that's what the syntax means. Just the way, and for example, by the way, uh, for HTML, the syntax of, of HTML is basically while we do those tags, those elements, remember CSS? So the syntax for CSS is the selector that you need to create a property and then you need to give it a value. If you don't have, if you have a property or property without the, the value, um, you know, um, CSS will be like, okay, you're doing something wrong because my rules are you need to create open and close and then you need to give it a value to anything that you need to, you're trying to add to any um, selector or element uh, outside from, you know, for, for HTML. So let me just go back to this. And that was the syntax. And then of course we had like keywords, you know, all this stuff that we just mentioned right there. And when I say keyword, I mean like this, like for example, function is a keyword. So you cannot name anything with this thing. For example, if I'm trying to create um, a bar and then I say function and then I say equal to, let's say, um, um, yeah, like hello, I guess. 
and then I say this, look at this. So you are trying to use a keyword to, to name a variable and you cannot do that. So those keywords, you need to be careful when you name your things. Okay, because if something looks so perfect or name looks so perfect, it means that JavaScript is using it as a keyword. <laughs> okay, for example, um, also um, we have function here, but we have a whole bunch of keywords that we're definitely going to um, take a look at it. What else? The other one, the other one is the comment. So here, this two way, this is how you write a comment. I didn't add the comments um, in the you know in the code that we just did right now but this is the comment right here so here i'm trying to create a comment and let me just copy this and here this is my comment okay look at the color of the comment so when you read in javascript this one will be a skip like the javascript will not definitely take whatever you write here in consideration so but if you notice right now if i delete this okay then you're trying to do something because JavaScript doesn't know what's going on here. Okay. And then you're going to get those arrows. Remember that I mentioned also, Hey, look, HTML will allow you to do whatever you want with closing and not closing something. Okay. With just adding uh, one element or not adding anything at all. You, you will like get anything you want in HTML without doing much and you will not get an error. However, with JavaScript, which is like more strict, it will say, if, for example, if I try to say console dot um, log, and then I say, uh, you know what? Let's print hello, right? And then I click enter. There you go, it say hello. But if I come here and then I'm not closing this parent, this uh, parenthesis here, and then I click this, then you got an arrow. However, in HTML, if you do something like, I don't know, like, hey, I'm trying to do a pig tag, I'm say, trying to say hello, but I'm not doing anything else, and then you just go ahead and, you know, open, you, you run your, your, your website, and you will see the word hello. It will allow you to do it. However, this one is saying, hey, you're missing something. But I want thing to keep in mind, Right now it's letting you know that you need to close it, right? But you will get so many errors that you will be like, okay, what is going on here? All right, JavaScript will not tell you everything you need to know. So up to you to figure out, like, you know, you go to your code and that's, um, that's another topic that I will definitely talk about that later at the end of the course. And why at the end of the course? Because that's when you're gonna need it, trust me. <laughs> like the last day of class, that's when I'll be like, okay, look, you need to do this, 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 and this, and this, and this. And then you will be like, okay, damn it. Yeah, we need that right now. So JavaScript will not always tell you the, the error that you have, okay? So you need to go back and look at your code and see where do you feel like you make the mistake. Usually, what, what, how, the way that you find uh, where do you got the error more fast like is, is when you basically, you're writing code, right? So for example, I'm writing right now. Let me just clear this thing here real quick. All right. And then let me just, by the way, if you just like going up and then let me just get this, you can see other codes that you wrote. So for example, if I'm writing a loop here and everything is running fine because you know, I have my website and, and everything is just fine. It's like nothing, nothing wrong with my code. Um, basically you, you hear and you, you know, you missing this, that right here because you just start typing this, but then you, you know, you press enter here and of course it did it, but it should not work. Well, what's going on here? Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There you go. So you got an arrow. So console log is now defined. And again, those little things like that, you will know it right away. So then you can just go there and then just fix it. Okay. But if it will now tell you exactly what's going on, the first thing that you need to think about is what was the last thing that you add to your code, all right? So in this case, I'm assuming that the last thing that I add to my code was this console dialog. In fact, you can just think about the whole function. You don't even, you know, you like one line of code is, is too little to, to fix an error. 
But you can be like, okay, let me just look at the last thing that I add, which is this line. And I don't, if I don't see anything here, let me just, you know, go over my whole code, not my whole code, my whole function, which is like a piece of code right here. And let me see if there is any, any error. And why would you go to this one right here? Guess what? Because this is a function that you're trying to call. So because you're calling this function here and then you get an error, it means that there you go. You, you got a, a problem here. However, from here, you can be doing a lot of stuff inside this function. So when you're doing all these things, you can be calling other functions inside this function. And then that's when you'll be like, okay, now I need to figure out what's going on here. But at least you know that the problem is coming from this function because that was the last thing that you tried to call. Okay. So let's see what else, what else, what else, what else? Yeah. For now, I just want you guys to know this. We're definitely going to do um, more about this thing. We're definitely going to talk about uh, variables, functions. Uh, the loops and a whole bunch of stuff that you're probably going to need that to create a really cool website because um, only this thing right here, it will not definitely just do a lot for you. Trust me. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically, let's see what else. And again, when you trying to look at this, just go to the to the search bar right here on Google Chrome and just type the word about double columns and blank. And then you will see like a blank page. Yes, if you are, uh, for example, in another say, for example, here, I'm here, I didn't type anything. And I just, you know, I just want to go ahead and then click inspect element. You can do this. But the problem is that if you are not using a blank page, you will see a whole bunch of stuff. You see this right here? You will see all this stuff right here, but what you want is like, just like a blank thing. And yes, you can go to here to the console. This, right now, this is, this is empty, but if I go, I don't know, maybe to, to what page? Wikipedia, let's say. <laughs> let's see. If I go to uh, google.com and then I just click on any page. You see Wikipedia right here. And then I click, well, Wikipedia, I don't think it have like so many, let's see. Uh, yeah, but nah, it's not like the perfect example. Let me just go really on um, back real quick. And then I'm just here. Let me see this folks new what's going on. Why Google, blah, blah, blah. All right. So definitely this one might have something that I've, and then I'm, so I'm here and I want to click them. That was loud. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just, let me just stop this video right here. That was loud. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do an inspect element. And then when you do an inspect element, you will see all this code right here, but also you might see all this code right here. So this is why it's better if you just go uh, and just type the word about and blank and you will get like a fresh page. However, yes, you can come also here and just click this button right there. You see that? But again, why do you want to work with something that is in the background when you can have just a page like this where you have nothing on it? All right. So that's it for this um, lesson and I will see you in the next one.